colorectal cancer in occurs in a part of the body known as large intestine so large intestine is divided into the colon and the rectum so if any cancer develops in this it is known as colorectal cancers so the risk factors for colorectal cancer is age that is it is more common in the elderly age group genetic factors like if you have a family history of colon cancer breast cancer ovarian cancer then it could lead to an increased risk of colon cancers low fiber diet especially lack of vegetables and fruits in the diet and increased consumption of red meat could lead to an increased risk of colon cancer increased use of alcohol and smoking could be risk factors for colon cancer lack of physical activity and obesity are again risk factors for colon cancer now coming to the symptoms of colorectal cancer altered bowel habits that is increased frequency of uh, motion or constipation could be one of the symptoms of colorectal cancer bleeding while passing stools could again be a symptom of colorectal cancer anemia that is low hemoglobin could again be a symptom of colorectal cancer weight loss and loss of appetite could also be symptoms of colorectal cancer so diagnosis of colorectal cancer is usually done by tests like colonoscopy cea which is a blood test and imaging like ct scan mri or a pet scan once we know the stage of colonic colorectal cancer then we decide about the treatment for colorectal cancer the treatment for colon cancer is different and the treatment for rectal cancer is in a different way colon cancers usually require surgery as the first modality of treatment after surgery based on the biopsy report we are going to decide about chemotherapy in rectal cancer the treatment is usually in the form of radiation first followed by surgery and then chemotherapy colorectal cancer surgeries can be done by open laparoscopic or robotic surgeries nowadays majority of the colorectal cancers are done by laparoscopic or robotic surgeries so the advantage of lap or robotic surgeries is in terms of less pain faster recovery early discharge less blood loss and faster recovery to work screening for colorectal cancer is usually done by a stool occult blood test which is done on an annual basis or by doing a flexible sigmoidoscopy which is done on a 3 yearly basis colonoscopy is usually done at 10 years interval and screening for colorectal cancer is started after the age of 50 years if you have a family history of colon breast or ovarian cancer screening can be done at a early age group as well